morning. Good morning. Call me with my tea in my hand. <laughs> you knew I was going live. I know. What do you want? <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> Decided you had to drink some tea anyway? Decided that was the moment. Okay, okay. fair enough. Yeah, what are you going to do? Um, you forgot it was fasting day. I did forget it was fasting day. I'm two, two uh, almonds in. It was funny. I walked down the stairs. He said to me, are you going to have oatmeal today? And I was like, on fasting day? <laughs> I'm like, don't. <laughs> but, oh well, such is life. That's the way it goes. It's all good. How was your workout? Workout was good. What'd you do today? Today was legs. Yeah. So I did. I actually did my leg workout in reverse because there were a lot of people doing legs when I came in. So I did leg extensions, hack squats, leg presses, then the kickbacks, then leg curls. Okay. And I did some calves. Okay. So I got calves in too, which is always nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I did chest today, which was pretty good considering my shoulder has been tweaky about doing chest. It did pretty well today. Yeah, did it bother you? Or? No, it bothered me. I just was just, able to work around ah, it. Well, that's good, I yeah. guess. And then I did some core. I did some crunches and some bridges and right. stuff like that. I did some of the functional exercises. Right. Build up that foundation. Yeah, you know, <laughs> all the challenges. Exactly. So um, today we wanted to talk to you guys about people who want to argue with you about being whole food plant-based right because i'm starting to hear more and more of that from people that people will say yeah you know i was talking to so and so and they were adamant that this it's not healthy and i shouldn't do it and blah blah and whatever and i know we've had that too where, where people say you know it's not healthy so the easiest answer if someone wants to argue with you is to simply really simply just say if you like the science, I can show you the science, but if you're happy doing what you're doing, keep doing it. Right. I'm okay with what I'm doing. Right. So, you know, you don't have, your goal doesn't have to be to convert other people. Like it's not, you don't have to argue with them. They are allowed to be wrong in their own space. Right. <laughs> like that's fine. You don't have to, they don't have to be allowed to tell you how to live your life. You don't have to tell them how to live their lives. Right. But what is your experience with it? Um, I, so I get all sorts of experiences. I get some, but some people that are very interested in what I have to say. Right. And so they sit there and they, they want to hear it and then they have some decent comments back and, you know, so it's a good conversation. Um, but then there's also those people that are just dead staunt in their beliefs that, you know, you have to eat meat and I know I, I can't live without my meat. I can't live without beef or I can't live without fish or, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I always look at them and say, well, if it's working for you, then fantastic if you're happy with where your health right. journey is taking you keep going there right you know i had someone tell me this weekend well you might be healthy but i'm happy like is, somehow they're mutually exclusive and right. I'm, I'm like no that's not right. the way and, it and, works you know i want to know how you're healthy and i of course know the individual and i'm wondering how you're healthy when you're a good 60 70 pounds overweight right you're probably diabetic you certainly have cardiovascular disease. We know she has cardiovascular right. disease. And, and yeah. you know, just going up two flights of steps is is work. That if that's happiness, I want no part of it. Right. Exactly. I mean, that's just my bottom line. And then yeah. the other thing too, and I've talked to you guys about this before, is that she's confusing pleasure, which right. is the dopamine response she gets from eating fatty food, right. with happiness, and they're not the same they're thing. They're not the same thing. But you know, that that's the interesting thing about people who want to argue with you is they don't want to argue about the science, the reality of what you eat and how it affects you physically. They want to argue about the emotional aspect right. of eating, which is a completely different discussion. Right. And as a psychologist, sometimes I'll, I'll point that out to them and then they don't want to talk to me anymore. Right. Of course, that's all they know though, right? I mean, they only know the pleasure. They don't understand. I mean, especially if you've been eating that way your whole life, you don't understand that you're getting this instant gratification of whether it's the sugars, the fats, you know, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. and you're not getting long-term pleasure because you always feel miserable. How many people have told you, have, have they told me they're, you know, they're, yep. they're bloated or, you know, they can't, they, mm -hmm. they can't sleep because they're bloated or every time they eat a meal, they're bloated or, they or they're feel, achy or they're achy. This bothers them. That bothers them, you know? And well, and then, you know, there's, there's some that are just starting on their journey of becoming more plant-based and they're, you know, they're talking about how they have gas. And we talked about that on Friday, that as you change over to more plants, your body has to change the biome in your gut to right. a more healthy biome to right. process plants. So if, if you have all the biome to process meat, it's, 
yeah, and it's slow and it doesn't work well. But when you start adding plants, your gut goes, oh, wait, we don't know how to do this. And they have to learn. But then what you'll find is once your body transfers over to having a plant-based biome to be able to process that stuff, right. if you do put an animal product in it, your gut's like, no, we are not <laughs> doing this. We agreed. Now you're breaking our agreement. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, yep. You know what else I find fascinating is even with the gentleman I was talking to this morning is um, – he was talking about Whole30. Whole30, that's what he was talking about. And we always say any, any and I, we call them quick kick, quick, uh, quick fix. fix gimmicks, um, diets that restrict any type of, of nutrient, whether it be, you know, fats, carbohydrates, or proteins, and, and that's the way you're going to get thin. They're all quick fixes, and they never work. They and work short term, long-term. and they're very unhealthy. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but what I find is fascinating is, 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 and again, like I said, it happened this morning. You talk to these individuals, and they're, they're staunch and they're like, oh, this is the way it has to be. I could never, I could never, I could never. And then they, then you tell me, you know, what's interesting is that, like, the number one killer in this country is cardiovascular disease. And they're nodding their heads. Yes, they know that. They know that. And then I'll say, you know, and, and that's absolutely something that should not exist. It, it, we create it with our food. And they agree with me again. Right. So they agree with that <laughs> part of it, that the food they're eating is killing them, but they don't agree with the fact that they need to stop eating it. And, and that, right. that's always that's interesting. That's weird. That's, that's like, yeah. know, a dichotomy. Is that a dichotomy? It's a dichotomy, <laughs> yes. Um, so Laura made the point that fatty foods are addictive, and we have talked about that some. And I, I think that when people argue with me about eating plants and that it's not healthy, it's more of the addiction that they have to fat and grease mm-hmm. and that pleasure right. talking than it is that they actually don't want to eat plants. Right. Because when I say to you, fruits and vegetables are good for you, that's not news. No. Like you know We're that. We're not breaking new ground here. <laughs> You've been told that your whole life. Yeah. The only thing that is seems to be shocking to people is when I say, starch is good for you. Eat your carbs. That's the one. That's yeah. the one that gets people. They always, I always get this look of shock when I say that to them. And, right. and even the gentleman today had that look at me like, and I'm like, it's got to be 80% of your diet. I mean, that's a big portion of your diet. Yep. Yeah. And if you guys um, follow me, I, I posted some stuff I made this weekend. I made a bean, corn, and... What else is in that? Oh, I don't know. It has mango. Oh, rice. Rice. Yeah. Salad with mango dressing on it. Oh, my God. It's yeah, that's, so that's, good. That's awesome. It's so good. Yeah, it's and I posted the recipe on the picture. And I'll put, I put, I'll put it on the r r Journey page, too. She made soup that's really awesome. Too. I made a vegetable soup that I threw some lentils in just for good measure. Right. And that's awesome, too. I've been and, eating that all week. And, and that's the thing is when you start making this kind of food, your body gets you know, really used to that and, and mm-hmm. enjoys it a lot. But, you know, the challenge is, I think, and this is something that for us has become really a big part of our journey, is we're happy to share it with anyone who wants to learn and wants to be healthy and wants to take control of their health and understands that nutrition is a huge part of that control. We're very happy to share what we know and the science and offer support and whatever that looks like that they need to get on that path and stay on it. But if someone doesn't want to be on it, I'm not dragging them, kicking no, and screaming it, onto it. Just, you know what I'm finding? There's too many people that are interested in changing and wanting to have a healthier lifestyle. So I, I'm not... That's the thing. There's too many people who are interested right. to fight with those who aren't. Right, exactly. Um, you know, I mean, I have family members where I'm trying to I'm trying to take the scenic route now to get them to do things. <laughs> so I'm going after their children and saying, you know, you should watch this. And talk to your father about it or talk to your mother about it. And, mm-hmm. You know, so maybe I'm trying to see if I can get it, get to him that way, you know, because, you know, as, as a lot of people know, when you talk to family, especially your, your siblings or, or your, your elder uh, relatives, um, they always look at you as the kid they used to know. And it's right. hard to tell them, listen, I've learned this information. It's valuable. And it's and useful. You right. should pay and attention. Could, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 You know? Yeah. I was watching a lecture today, uh, this weekend by uh, Dr. Bernard and he made the point that there are always going to be people who are going to look for things to criticize. He believes that they would do well to have more fiber in their diet. <laughs> That's what he said. Um, yeah. So I may have to use that when, yeah, when people funny. are being difficult. But really, truly, if someone wants to argue with you, just tell them, look, if you want the, the science, if you want the facts, I'm happy to share them with you. But if not, that's fine. You do you. I'll do me. It'll be fine. And that's true. I Somebody um, told me just today, just this morning, that a woman was arguing with her about her children being whole food plant-based, that it's not healthy and she's doing her children a disservice. Yeah. And she was like, I can show you the science that that's not true. Right. 
So I did post an article about, because you know, raising kids is not our area of expertise, no. but I did post um, an article by Dr. M Michael Greger about mm. children and being plant-based and how, how good it is for them. Right, right. He is one of the doctors we follow as far as whole food plant-based dieting. You know? He is, and he's, 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 he's a how not to die guy. Right, thank you, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> so, um, but the bottom line is you can offer them the science or, and offer them, you know, wish them well on their journey to, to not health and death and whatever it is they're going on because it's their journey and they're right. allowed to go there. And that's the hardest when it's somebody you love. Right. That's when, it, when, it, when you're watching someone you love do something you know is detrimental to, mm -hmm. to them. That's when it's the hardest to just say, okay. Right. And let it go. Because you know the path they're going down and it's not a fun one. Yeah. So that's how we handle it. We offer the science and then we just say, walk away. Right. Because you can't fight with them. Nope. It's no point. I do have those same people though, which is also an interesting, um, I don't know, what's the right word there, but um, like the same people who will like, oh, I could never, will come up to me and ask me more questions like later on, like a day later or three days later, or a week later, whatever. Yeah, you're planting and seeds. So I'm wondering, like, like you know, if it, at least it's, it's making them think. If nothing else, it's making them think, you yep. know, so maybe it's doing good. It has to you be. Know? Maybe if maybe the fact that I don't take this, oh, yes, you have to, you have to, you have to. I'm just like, oh, well, if it's working for you, that's fine. This is what's working for us. And this is, we found this information. And I'm willing to share it. If you and that, that's the psychology of change, right? Is that if you push on someone, they're going to push back. Right. But if you just offer space for them to think about change and give them to, time to come to it on their own, they're more likely to right. do it because then it's their idea. That's right. You can just... That, and that, I mean, that's the reality of change regardless of what right. kind of And then you can tell is. them, you're brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> and you can agree with that. One. That's right. Exactly. So, do you have anything else you wanted to add about, <sighs> about this? I don't think so. I think that's it for okay. today. Okay. So, if you guys are getting um, value out of these, do please like and share. We love to see the little hearts and the thumbs up come across. Right. Exactly. And, um, you know, there's more people joining. We're seeing more names pop up as right. we're going through. So I know that this is reaching more people. So please do like and share and like our page. And we're working on the website. So if you haven't taken the survey, make sure you do that so that you'll be among the first to know the surveys on the R&R Journey page. It's pinned to the top. It's the top post. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, we already mentioned the fasting. I just heard me you talk about the nuts. I didn't know if we mentioned that. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's it, right? All right. And so with that, we will say... Eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.